Welcome back to Burst Mode from the photography show and the video show. Joining me down the line is friend of the show. I think I can call you a friend of the show, uh, Dominic Gurney from Epson. <laughs> good to see you again, Dominic. How are you doing? And you? Yeah, no, good. It's great to be back here and uh, seeing you again. It'd be better in person, of course, but, you know, we do what we can. Next year, I hope. I hope we'll be able to do this face to face. Um, but for now, I can see on that desk of yours, you've got one of your new toys. Uh, I, I've seen this before, but it's it's certainly an impressive piece of kit. It's the Shaw Color P900, isn't it? It is, yeah, that's it. It's our new flagship A2 printer. Um, so we announced it, yeah, we were going to announce it at the photography show in March, of course. We didn't quite get to do it the way we wanted to in, in the flesh, but uh, we've done it all online like this now, and uh, we're gonna show it again at, at TPS Virtual uh as well in september so but we're looking forward to being able to show people it in real life sure now, now don't take it the wrong way but it looks to me like it's a piece of hi-fi equipment obviously with the with a with, with, with picture uh, out the back there a piece of high-end hi-fi equipment i might add but it, it's that styling which is immediately the most striking thing about it so so, so tell me more about that and about where the printer fits in Who, who's it for yeah, absolutely. You know, we've definitely gone for that kind of hi-fi look um, with the, you know, the sharp lines, the black, the glossy black on top. So it fits in with the home user, which in all honesty, this is where it's going to be in the majority, mostly going to be enthusiasts, um, camera club members, people like that, or people just working from home like me at the moment. Um, so we wanted something that didn't look too out of place when it was in the home. Um, you know, we, we've done several things to the printers to make them fit in at home more and the design is just one of them so yeah it has got that kind of hi-fi high-end amp or, or you know look to it for sure so a3 a2 sorry format with a p900 isn't it uh, just talk to me about what's what's new here because that th there are a few innovations i was i was reading earlier on uh including extra inks uh, and uh, and some cool stuff that you're doing, particularly with the, with the black colours, to uh, just just make those colours and even the darks sing a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. To be honest, there's a lot of things we've done. This is a completely new printer um, compared to the previous generation. So you know we haven't taken anything from the previous ones and and just enhanced it or put a new case around it. It's a brand new printer from the ground up. Um, so yeah, lots of innovation all over the printer. Um, as you say, first of all, the design. So like you say, completely new design already. Um, we've added a, an LED light to the inside so you can see your prints as they're being printed, which is a cute little feature. And it, as, as a bit of a geek, that, that's my favorite one, to be honest. Um, digging deeper into the printers though, yeah, absolutely. We've added more inks. Oh, wow, Pop look at the that. Lid up there. <laughs> so we've got a full, 10 color ink set now so this is our ultra chrome pro 10 ink set and what we've done is we've added in now a violet on the end there as well so that a violet that's what's what, what's what's the violet going to give you what, what kind of pictures is that going to bring benefit it's going to expand the color gamut overall so you're going to get more colors to play with or you know your camera captures many, many, you know, millions of colors. Obviously, ultimately, a printer is limited by the number of physical cartridges or colors that you can put in it. And, and you know, as much as we'd love to have a million different colors, it's unrealistic. So what we try to do is pick the ones that we can combine or mix the best to create that widest color gamut. So we've introduced the violet, which we've had on some of our high-end professional printers for a couple of years now. And yeah, so it'll expand it predominantly, obviously, in the blues, uh, you know, area of the color gamut, but it will add shadow detail to a lot of your images. So, you know, it, it, it's a benefit across the whole thing. As you mentioned before, with the blacks, we've now enhance the blacks again so you get deeper richer wetter looking blacks if, you, if you're printing onto a coated media but most importantly and i expect for a lot of your viewers um, you know and our existing customers is we now don't need to switch between the photo black and the matte black which has previously been a bit of a bugbear um, so there's no purging of the inks so they're in there it's a true 10 channel 10 color printhead in the printer so it's a great enhancement for a lot of users i'm sure in that respect fantastic uh i mean the the inclusion of the led light in there 
I, I, I do, disclosure, I do have an Epson printer just there, just off of camera. Uh, and when my kids are printing out pictures that, that they've taken, they will run to the printer just to watch it being printed out. It's, it's all part of the theatre really, isn't it? As indeed is opening the lid and seeing all of those inks lined up, ready to print whatever you want them to. Um, talk to me a bit about the, uh, about the connectivity on this printer as well. And you, um, you've got an impressive screen and then you've got connectivity to the other devices around your house to make printing really, really easy. And I, I guess that plays into that. It works really, really well at home as well as in the office take. Yeah, absolutely. Like you say, you know, it's a modern world. So printers like this are used at home or in an office or a studio. So we need to make sure that they're compatible and usable as much as possible. You know, not everybody has the luxury of having multiple printers, you know, dedicated to specific tasks. You know, in this case, you know, high quality f photographic reproduction and then just an office based printer you know over lockdown obviously you know my kids have been at home i'm sure like yours and again you know they've been printing out lots and lots of things but you know this is the space i have i can't afford to have lots of printers so yeah it needs to be able to be compatible with lots of different things so if i pop that back down for a second um yeah you can connect to the printer via your traditional usb uh, network and Wi-Fi, either directly or through your home or office Wi-Fi, which enables you to be able to use your iPad. So we now have a free app. If I just open that, because of course it never opens when you want it to. There we are. <laughs> so you now have uh, free apps, the Epson Print Layout app, which okay. is free for iPhone and iPad users. And you can print your photos directly from here onto your printer from around the home or what have you so nice and easy again if you've got those holiday photos and what have you and you know you're not into you know editing them on the the computer or what have you you can just use this to print directly um, the screen as you say it's a brand new screen again as i said everything is brand new on this so it's a new 4.3 inch touch screen new design much clearer much easier to understand what's going on actually shows you a preview of the print uh, the print job that's being printed at that time so if you are sending multiple photos to the printer you know where you are in your queue just by looking and glancing at that uh, screen and it gives you a timer function it, it tells you how long it is to the end of that print job so if you're wondering shall I nip down for a cup of tea or not I've got a minute minute and a half yeah I can do it you know and it is pretty accurate in that respect as well and obviously it gives you all the other standard information like your ink levels and so on as well so it's all pretty good. Fantastic. Uh, Dominic, we are almost out of time, but uh, before we go, uh, favourite features, favourite takeaway thoughts that you'd like our Burstmo viewers to, uh, to leave with for your new P900? Well, I've already mentioned the LED uh, light, like I say, that's my personal favourite. But again, for most people, it's got to be the size of the printer. You know, again, pop that up. It's very small. This A2 printer has the same footprint as our previous A3 printer, the P600. So if you had a P600 and you're contemplating upgrading to an A2 printer, it's great because you're not going to use up any more desk space than you previously did. So, you know, that combined with the quality and everything else we put into these printers makes them a really good upgrade for anybody. Fantastic. Dominic, thank you so much indeed for joining us here at Burst Mode. Look forward to catching up again, either online or hopefully in person before too long. Absolutely. Same here. Bye for now.